Hey guys, um, good morning. Sorry, I haven't posted in a little bit. Uh, I, I've been saying a lot, but I haven't been able to, you know, post things that could get taken down. So this one is just gonna, I'm just gonna go over this, uh, ADB, ADSB exchange and kind of show you what I'm looking at and what I see on the map this morning. These are all military craft. And I found this, and this is in, let's see, does that say Dallas? I think it says Dallas. This one is weird. It's registered GND, United States Military, and the squawk is not available. Uh, there's not a lot of information on it. GND test. And then it's ADFBA2. Uh, not sure what this is. I've never seen this before on any of these maps, so I just thought I would point it out. I'll do a little digging. ADFBBA2. Um, ADFB. Oh, sorry, I can't remember. A ADFBA2, ADFBA2, ground transmitter, let's see if it gives you some information, here's a radar box, Dallas-Fort Worth, mm -hmm. It says it's a ground transmitter, so I, I really don't know what it is. I, I've never seen it on any of these ground transmitter. I mean, is that a is that a person with a wire in their head? Is it a plane? Is it... I, I have no idea what it is. It's Denton Enterprise Airport. Let me see about this. So the hex code is being changed manually. So I think they changed jurisdictions of the planes so that people have a hard time figuring it out. Uh, it's Korsky, Bell Boeing. Um, this, Kors this Korsky archive they talk about all the time on the blacklist. So there's a, there's a lot to see on these. Um, okay, let's go back. So again, I don't know what this one is. If you guys want to look into it and figure it out for me, go ahead. <laughs> okay. This is uh, Military Raytheon. Last night, there was a Saudi Arabia aircraft um, going out of Delaware. And I posted that on my on my Twitter page. I didn't see it. Someone else saw it. So I just reposted it. But, um, let me see. Washington, D.C. Military. I mean, if I knew how to do this map a little bit better, I could, like, Delaware's right here, right? Here's a Lockheed Military United States. Here's, uh, Boeing military going in circles. I don't know. I know that um, President Biden is supposedly speaking today, or I don't know if I should just call him Biden. Uh, let's go here. And so... What you can do is find out where the, you know, where the politicians are speaking and kind of look at what's, you know, on the ground or over, overhead. These are all United States military, but last night, now let me show you this. If I take off the military, um, this is where, I mean, 
this is where it gets kind of crazy because this doesn't make sense that there's this many planes in the air and on the ground. It, it just does not make sense to me. But I did want to show you Santa Marta group that I found. Um, cargo aircraft management. Spirit Airlines, Bank of Utah. A lot of these are under a bank, which I th I think is very interesting. Uh, Wells Fargo trustee. And this is... Um, out a little bit. Oops. And that's Cuba, right? So Santa Clara, but Santa Marta group is right on Guantanamo Bay, and that's the that's that Vatican group where there are some resignations going on. Um, so you just kind of click around. Herman Miller, Arians, Arians. Uh, that is weird. Arian is you know spelled a different way as something else. I started thinking about that song, Another One Bites the Dust, Another One Bites the Dust, uh, and another one's down, and another one's down, little bluebird, hmm. Okay, so, anyway, you can look around and find some interesting things. I, I don't know what it all means. I, I think there's there's kind of something going on that doesn't quite look like just planes. This is just, just doesn't make sense that this many is going on. So, um, maybe if any of you fly, you could tell me what you think about this many kind of being in an area like this, kind of over top of one another because I've never seen anything like that. Um, even when I, even when I fly, looking out the window. So, I think the orange ones, orange is the new black. I, I've told you what I think that means. Um, you can read about that in the new Jim Crow book if you want. Uh, and then these are interesting too. These balloons. Raven Aerostar. Um, I don't see that many of them. Let's see how far this one went. It just kind of drops off. I don't see very many balloons. I, I don't know what the colors mean. Pink. Pink is an interesting color. We've got pinks out here, pinks hot dogs. Uh, they always use pink in in advertising. I mean, I, I don't know what it means. Purple usually means money. Bank, 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 bank. They're always wearing purple. It's a signifier for something. The green ones. United States Air Force Peterson Aero Club operator. The green ones might be, um, you know, environmental or the Green New Deal. I, I really don't know. I don't really know. Uh, these, I don't know what the yellow ones are at all. I've not figured them out. Some color. I really want to get under this. Da. Da, da, da. Daw aircraft. Well, that looks like a military craft to me. Daw aircraft. Pink. Cooper Family Management. Snowflake. You always hear snowflake in the news. I think that we should start looking up things that we see in the news on these maps. So this one and um, Flight Tracker 24 are both kind of 
interesting to look at. I mean, I, I, I don't know how to kind of determine what this means. I think they're using a lot of people. Um, I, I think that this isn't only planes, is what I got to say. Proving wrong. Okay, this is my location. There's something going right over. Let's see if there's any military aircraft. That's not military, so okay, let's go. So really how to do this is you need to get, um, you can get, you know, like a listening, I, I don't know what this is, so I'm there, I mean, it looks like dynamic air lease, what, what does it mean? I don't know. Um, but there's pretty interesting stuff going on. I think that Saudi one was weird. Producers Dairy Foods, Valley Iron. These, when I see these, uh, that is weird. The Gall Subaru. I wish there was a way to filter, you know, commercial from commuter from, you know, I mean, this, it gives you some options, but I just don't, I'm not that familiar with it. I just want to show you what I was seeing today. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, if you want to know what I really think about what's going on, you have to go to my Twitter because I'm just speaking it out and then I'm putting these up there. Um, I'm putting the videos onto two other platforms where they're kind of letting me speak. So, um, I just want to obey the rules on here and just be careful. So you guys are doing great. I wanted to show you this. Um, you can look it up. Just look up the ethics of this. And, uh, it's very kind of detailed about how they're getting this kind of thing. And, um, if they're doing it through willful inducement of, of, um, this word, or if they're, you know, just getting it, it it's a very interesting article. And it talks a lot, a lot about the moral implications. Um, this person claims that he has no idea where this one cell line came from, but admits that the uh, child was perfectly healthy, where he got this from. Uh, so I just think it's a very good article, and it explains a lot of what has been going down in the context of, you know, our current situation. So I posted it on my wall on Twitter, but I post a lot up there. So I just wanted to kind of point this out.